All right, so this BMW 600 limo came in the other day for some service. It's been sitting for a long time. It is a two cylinder air cooled engine. You can see the air is drawn in through this housing, through the fan, pumped across the cylinders. There's one cylinder on each side. It's a boxer. It has a side draft carburetor, which then goes down to a manifold, kind of like a Volkswagen. You can see it goes down wise off to the left cylinder, wise off to the right cylinder, and there's a coil for each cylinder. Pretty cool. This is our, um, our valve for the fuel, and I've actually written a little tape diagram here. Reservoir res reserve is to the left, off and on, just like a motorcycle. Um, so I've been working on this car all day today. I got the brakes working. I changed the oil in the engine. I've purged the fuel system. I got the tank cleaned up, got the carburetor cleaned up. This car's been sitting for, I think, 20 years, something like that. Uh, it is a 1959 BMW 600 limo, kind of a stretched Isetta, stretched Isetta limo, if you will. Uh, it has uh, 23,000 original miles. I did a video on this the other day, but a lot of people want to see what I'm doing. They've uh, pinged me and PM'd me about questions about the car. It has the front opening door, as you can see there, and it has this little back door, side opening door, only on one side. The seat is in it. The battery is underneath the seat. This is what it would look like uh, in the front. I guess if you were looking over the driver's shoulder. And uh, what we're going to do, we're going to see if we can start it up. Oh, i got to show you this. So the customer has this license plate light, or I'm sorry, license plate holder. It's an airplane propeller. It goes right on the front here. Isn't that cool? So you're driving along, and this is whirly gigging uh, right as you drive down the road. Pretty neat. Uh, it is a four-speed car. Uh, you can see, unlike the Isetta, which the shifter would be over on the left side on the fender, the shifter is between the seats. Um, and the steering wheel, of course, folds up and pulls away, so you can slide in there nice. So let's see if we can start it up. I'm pretty sure it's going to start. So we've got our ignition key here. Let's see if the light comes on. Yep. Battery is hooked up. Sounds like it's running. all the fuel lines, the vapor line, get all the bad fuel out. Seems to like it. A little smoky. Don't have a generator light on, it's good. I don't know if you can hear me, that was pretty loud. I wanted to say there's a couple other features. There's a cool little grab handle here for the passenger getting in and out of the car. The windows slide back and forth like a closet. I believe the window in the back, is the roll down window? No, the windows, oh, it's stuck again. Hmm. I may have just locked that inadvertently. Luck they can get in. A lot of neat little things on this car. Neat, neat, neat. Has the uh, aluminum trim, the BMW logo, cool little European taillights, 10 inch wheels, drums all the way around. Very Isetta ish with the, let's see if I can show you the front knuckles. That's the steering mechanism. So it comes directly from the, the box there through a pitman arm. And when you turn, it's just a simple little drag link arrangement. A set of like lights and overrider bumpers. And of course you've got the big BMW propeller symbol with the wings and dual wipers. Pretty neat little car. So next video you see on this car, hopefully we'll be out running and driving around. It's five o'clock on a Friday night. I'm ready to go home and uh, I want to thank you guys for watching. All right, we'll see you later.